your circadian rhythm controls not just your sleep, but also your hunger, mood, and even your hormone levels. And if it's out of whack, it could lead to some serious health problems like obesity, diabetes, and even certain cancers. That's right, your circadian rhythm, also known as your internal body clock, is so important that it can even influence your body's ability to heal itself. Tweaking this rhythm could be the secret to not just superior sleep, but a whole range of benefits, from improved mood to sharper cognition. So, if your rhythm is out of sync, what can you do? Well, today, we're going to equip you with 8 transformative tips to fine-tune your circadian rhythm. And later in this video, we'll also be revealing how you can get your hands on some amazing sleep-boosting free gifts, so stick around. But, firstly, what exactly is your circadian rhythm? Well, it's a natural process that regulates your sleep-wake cycle. It repeats roughly every 24 hours, controlling not only when you feel sleepy or awake but also your appetite, body temperature, and heart rate. Our internal clocks have evolved this way over thousands of years, syncing our bodies with the Earth's rotation. However, not all of us are tuned to the same rhythm. You've probably heard of night owls and early birds, right? Some people feel most alert in the morning, while others find their stride later in the day. The term for this is chronotype, and it's a key player in determining your personal circadian rhythm. But don't be fooled, even though it's natural, when your chronotype doesn't match your lifestyle, it can wreak havoc on your sleep quality. But there's good news, it's possible to reset your circadian rhythm and get back on track. And that's precisely what we're going to dive into next. Brace yourself for our top 8 tips to fix your circadian rhythm. Let's kick things off with tip number 8, use natural light wisely. Did you know that the very essence of our circadian rhythm evolved in response to the Earth's light-dark cycle? Our ancestors woke with the sunrise and went to sleep when it got dark. But, living in this era of electricity, our exposure to light is all over the place, and it's affecting our sleep. Your body's internal clock takes its cue from environmental light, particularly sunlight. It's all down to a nifty little hormone called melatonin. During the day, the blue light from sunlight tells our brain to halt melatonin production, keeping us alert. And when it gets dark, the lack of light signals your brain to pump up the melatonin, preparing you for sleep. But here's the kicker, we're often stuck indoors, under artificial lights, away from the natural light our body needs. So, what happens when your exposure to natural light is minimal? Your body gets confused, it messes with your melatonin production and throws your circadian rhythm out of whack. Don't just take my word for it, a study in the Journal of Sleep Research showed that exposure to morning sunlight improved sleep quality and duration, and reduced depressive symptoms. So start your day by opening your curtains or eating breakfast by a window. Even better, go outside for a walk or exercise in the morning sunlight. But what happens if you live somewhere with little sunlight, or if you're not a morning person? Don't fret! Light therapy boxes can also do the trick. They mimic outdoor light and can be used in the morning to help you wake up. Moving along to tip number 7, use sleep-enhancing food. Remember when I said that every cell in your body has a circadian rhythm? Well, that includes your stomach. The human body is designed to digest and metabolize food most efficiently during the day. Eating late at night can throw your internal clock off balance. Not to mention, certain foods can either help or hinder your sleep. For example, foods rich in tryptophan, like turkey and milk, can enhance sleep. Tryptophan is an amino acid that influences the production of melatonin. On the other hand, certain foods can keep you awake. I bet you knew about caffeine, but did you know that spicy foods can stop you from sleeping too? A study in Australia found that people who ate spicy meals close to bedtime took longer to fall asleep and had poorer sleep quality. So how can you use food to fix your circadian rhythm? The key is regularity and making wise food choices. Try to eat meals at the same time every day, even on weekends. Also, a light snack before bedtime, like a banana or a warm glass of milk, can aid sleep. In short, by being mindful of what and when you eat, you can align your meal timings with your body's natural rhythm, thus aiding your sleep and fixing your circadian rhythm. Deliciously simple, isn't it? Alright, moving on to tip number 6, limit exposure to light at night. This may seem obvious, but it's often overlooked. You see, excessive exposure to artificial light at night can confuse your brain. 
For example, a Harvard study found that blue light, the kind emitted by screens and energy-efficient bulbs, can shift the circadian rhythm by up to three hours. Imagine trying to sleep when your brain thinks it's still mid-afternoon. If you can't escape screens in the evening, consider using blue light filters or simply dimming the lights. Research suggests that exposure to blue light before bedtime can delay the onset of REM sleep and decrease alertness the following morning. That's a double whammy you want to avoid. But it's not just about electronics. If your room isn't dark enough, it could be messing with your sleep. Light leakage from outside streetlights or even a full moon can disrupt your sleep cycle. Blackout curtains or a sleep mask could be your new best friends. Consider using dim red lights in the evening, as red light has the least power to shift circadian rhythm and suppress melatonin. Trust me, a little change in your lighting can go a long way. Now on to tip number 5. Keep a consistent sleep schedule. It might sound simple, but this tip is a game changer for restoring your circadian rhythm. Our bodies thrive on routine. If you're jumping between bedtimes and wake-up times, you're basically playing ping-pong with your internal clock. Research shows that if your circadian rhythm is off by even an hour, you're much more likely to become overweight or obese. It's not just about getting enough sleep, it's about getting it at the right time. Also, a study by the University of Colorado found that irregular sleepers experienced more sleepiness, mood swings, and even increased risk of heart diseases. On the other hand, regular sleep patterns have been associated with better mood, cognitive performance, and overall well-being. So how do we make this work? Start by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. I know it might be tough to resist sleeping in on a lazy Sunday morning, but trust me, the reward of better sleep and improved energy throughout the day is worth it. Before we keep going, we want to give you your free gifts. Discover an entire world of sleep-boosting knowledge, tips, and tricks with The Sleep Hygiene Handbook The Sleep Health Guide 30 Days Free Access to the Brainwave Club Audio Sessions And the Snoring Gun in 3 Minutes Program Get each of these powerful gifts for free. Just click the link in the description below and start your journey towards better sleep. Okay, let's power on to tip number 4, Limit Naps During the Day Napping isn't necessarily bad, especially if it's a quick power nap. A short nap can boost your mood and energy levels. But here's the counterintuitive part, naps can actually disrupt your circadian rhythm if not done wisely. For example, research from the Sleep Research Society revealed that napping late in the afternoon or for long periods can confuse your internal clock. If you absolutely need a nap, aim for the sweet spot, a quick 20-minute power nap before 3 p.m. This can refresh you without messing with your nighttime sleep. If you're constantly feeling the need to nap, it might be a sign of a deeper sleep issue, and our other tips could be just what you need. Remember, napping isn't a replacement for quality nighttime sleep. Keep it short, or even better, skip it and power through the day with other energy-boosting habits. On to tip number three, control your room environment. Research has found that several factors play a crucial role in the quality of our sleep. Let's break them down. Firstly, temperature. According to a study by the National Institute of Health, the optimal temperature for sleep is around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18.3 degrees Celsius. Too hot, and you'll be tossing and turning all night. Too cold, and you'll be shivering instead of snoozing. Next, noise. Whether it's a car alarm, a snoring partner, or your neighbor's dog, Noises can fragment your sleep, leading to a morning grogginess. If noise is a problem, consider using earplugs or a white noise machine to drown out disruptive sounds. Finally, comfort. Invest in a good quality mattress, pillow, and bedding. They can make a world of difference. A study from the journal Sleep Science found that new bedding systems increased sleep quality and reduced back discomfort, which is a common disruptor of sleep. Remember, your bedroom is your sleep sanctuary. It should be your private retreat where rest and relaxation are the top priority. Keeping it dark, quiet, cool, and comfy can significantly improve your sleep quality and help reset that circadian rhythm. Rolling on to tip number two, exercise regularly, but not before bed. That's right, regular physical activity is a must, but timing is everything. Exercise has a powerful effect on our sleep because it tires us out, making it easier to fall asleep. 
Plus, it helps reduce stress and anxiety. Two common sleep thieves. A study in the Journal of Sleep Research confirmed that people who exercise regularly have better sleep quality and feel more energized during the day. But here comes the caveat. While exercising is good, doing it too close to bedtime might do more harm than good. This is because exercise can elevate your body temperature, release hormones like epinephrine, and rev up your heart rate, all things that might interfere with falling asleep. A good rule of thumb is to wrap up any vigorous exercise at least three hours before you plan to hit the sack. That way, you get the best of both worlds, you're harnessing the sleep-promoting benefits of exercise without throwing off your sleep schedule. And finally, here we are at tip number one, manage stress levels. Yes, it's no secret that stress and sleep are not the best of friends. High stress levels can wreak havoc on your circadian rhythm, making it harder for you to fall asleep, stay asleep, and reach those deeper, more restorative stages of sleep. Consider this, a study found that people with chronic stress were more likely to develop insomnia. This stress-sleep disruption cycle can be tough to break. The good news is that there are effective ways to manage stress levels. Techniques such as mindfulness, yoga, and deep breathing exercises can help lower your stress levels and improve your sleep. Research from JAMA Internal Medicine showed that mindfulness meditation helped to improve sleep quality for older adults with sleep disturbances. But what if meditation isn't your cup of tea? Well, find what relaxes you. It might be a calming bath, reading a book, or simply spending quality time with loved ones. Well, with that, it's time to say goodbye to those sleepless nights and hello to a more refreshed and recharged you. Remember, small, consistent changes can create big impacts on your sleep health and overall well-being. And hey, before you drift off, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for sleep-boosting knowledge. Sweet dreams, and see you in the next video.